Back today with a quick video on do-it-yourself body armor. And this is the most effort I've put into making something uh, do-it-yourself body armor in a while. It's actually going to be really good on a budget. It's going to be about 7 to $8 all in. The towel that we're using is about $0.68 cents a piece. We're using three of them. I bought a towel cutting tool to actually cut this in the shape of body armor. So I just used an existing plate and set it on. I'll cut over to that and show you what I did in a second. And then from there, we're going to layer three of these and then we're going to line the back with computer paper i'm going to use about 0.3 inches of computer paper just for instance i'm going to cut the edges of some of them and shift them around so i go to get a good even distribution and then this should fit inside a plate carrier don't try this at home don't rely on it you'll definitely die but this should be an interesting video to see what it stops so what we're going to do is use the towel cutter that i bought on amazon for like 17 dollars, and i'll link this in the description below after we've pre-drawn the lines on here using an existing armor plate then what we'll do is use the scribe which is a carbide bit or a carbide ring and we'll scribe the line And then from there, what we'll do is place this right here. And then use that break feature and it cuts the clean line. So I've cut three each and I've layered them and then I taped them together. And then again, I'm gonna line the back with computer paper about 0.3 inches just for reference. I'm gonna make two of these, then duct tape everything up and we'll test them down at the range to see what they can stop. So I am down at the range to test this armor. And remember, don't try this at home or rely on it. You'll definitely die or get seriously injured. The total weight of these plates comes out to be 8.5 pounds per plate. They're 1.3 inches thick, and that's an inch thick worth of ceramic towel, three pieces, and 0.3 inches of paper. And then they fit in a 10 by 12 carrier if the pocket is big enough. This should be good. I've made two of them up. We're going to get one with handgun rounds and then try one with rifle rounds to see if it's actually rifle rated. This should be very very interesting. We've got it set up. First up, 9 millimeter, 147 grain ball. First up, 9 mil. So you can see the impact right there and nothing made it through. Completely stopped it. No issues whatsoever. The last test we did, it stopped 357 Magnum, but this time I'm going to switch it up and actually do double a buckshot out of a 12 gauge shotgun at about seven yards. I don't know if it's gonna stop it, but this should be absolutely awesome. So it looks like we completely obliterated the plate, but it did, actu did it actually stop it? Guys, and it did. The paper did what it was supposed to. So the towel fragmented and flattened out the pellets and the paper actually stopped it. We're going to tear this open and take a look, but that is blowing me away right now. So you can see right here, it just completely obliterated the tile, but the paper guys, nothing made it through. So this acts like almost a Kevlar backing um, on a ceramic plate. That's a high tensile strength object. So this really blew me away. I mean, all of those nine pellets hit really close up. That's a hard hitting buckshot round. We're gonna dig through here and see if we can find them. So here are all of the rounds that were in there. I even found that nine millimeter round. You could see some of the copper jacket on that guy right there. But there, it just fragmented up so much. And again, the paper stopped it perfectly. This actually worked out incredibly well for the 9mm 147 grain and the double lot buck from 7 yards. I can't believe how well it did. Now let's try an actual rifle. Not sure if it'll stop it, um, but we have to give it a try to see if like $7 body armor. And really this was like $0.68 cents per tile, so that's about a buck fifty right there, maybe a little more. About $2 in paper. And then you got the duct tape. So really, it could be done as low as about $5. Now for the moment of truth. Can this plate actually stop a 5.56 five, round? This should be good. The moment of truth. I have not looked 
<laughs> yeah, so I am, my heart is pumping. Oh, it definitely busted through. But look, so there is the round right there. So it definitely didn't have enough force to get through the plywood, but it did finally bust through the back of that. <laughs> Uh, that's a shame. I was really hoping it would stop it, but I mean, for five bucks, this thing is absolutely awesome. I will continue to innovate and push the limits, and I may try to test different backings on something like this, but it was really cool that I found that tile cutter to really cut it to fit into a carrier. So if you have any suggestions, ideas, I've seen a lot of fiberglass and epoxy things, but that starts really climbing up in price. My goal is to get like rifle rated body armor for 10 bucks. Can I do it? I'm not sure. I've got a few more dollars. I'm going to swap out the backing because I think the ceramic's doing good. And when you really look at it, that's shocking because it takes nothing to punch through plywood. So that actually worked out pretty well right there. We will see uh, what I can do in the future. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.